Welcome back to another week of the PI Planning Cooking Show. In this episode, we'll talk about building your art cadence. Welcome to the PI Planning Cooking Show with Shane Harrison. Art cadence models define how your art works, how it operates, what its operating rhythm is. Every art cadence is a little bit unique and there are some differences, but generally speaking, the differences are in arrangements of what the work is or the timing. When do you start socialization or when do you do your defect triage? It's contextual rather than anything else. And those are usually driven by product, technology or business cycle differences between arts. Sometimes even the client and customer can drive certain changes. But I think I would like to pause for a moment and remind myself and, and you too of pillar four of the safe house of lean, relentless improvement. Another reason why you need to know your cadence model, need to know your processes, is if we follow that pillar and do relentless improvement and work passionately to improve our art and how our art works, we must be able to see it. This is universal. You cannot fix what you cannot see. You cannot improve what you cannot see. And you certainly will find it impossible to strategically improve your art, how it operates, how it works, without having a very clear vision and understanding of what your cadence model is. Understanding your value streams, both development and operational, or sometimes referred to as business, in detail. So, often people will have abstract views of their cadence model or the development value stream or their operational value stream. If abstract improvements are enough, then, well, an abstract view of these things is enough also. Let us not forget what Deming said. It is not enough to do your best. You must know what you do and then do your best. So what do you need to know to know what you do. What does that mean? What does it mean in reality? Well, in Agile, we have this challenging situation. In Agile, we are a, a united focus group of semi-autonomous units, product management and delivery. We are more like a swarm or a flock than one big lumbering beast. Part of your job as an RTE is to ensure everybody has a rhythm, everybody has a cadence, everybody has a process that they follow. Your job is to make sure they exist. Your job is not necessarily to define them, but to ensure that people actually know what they do so they can do their best. And this applies to everybody, to the team. They have a cadence and a process. Delivery management, the RT group, has a process and a cadence. The line organization has a process and a cadence. The communities of practice you work with have a process and a cadence. Product management has a process and a cadence. The business has a process and a cadence. We need to be working as passionately with those groups to improve the effectiveness and efficiency of our art, to be able to strategically, most importantly, strategically, proactively improve what we do. That is why the cadence model and all the processes around that are so critical. Because we want to make proactive, strategic improvements to the art. Those are the ones that are the greatest value. Reacting to problems will only get you so far, and you have to be careful. Reacting to problems can actually take you away from where you need to be. Short-term fixes. So let's remember why you need this above all. You need to be able to see what your cadence model looks like in order to be able to fix it. You need to know it in order to do your best and be successful at doing your best. We need to know what we do. And that is what this cadence model is all about. Next episode, we're going to look at the simplest form of the art cadence model, the foundation of the art cadence model, the team cadence model. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and you want to see more, or you want to be reminded about when the next episode comes up, click the little bell, click the subscribe button. Have a great week. Talk to you next time. See you next time on the PI Planning Cooking Show. That's the PI Planning Cooking Show with Jane Harrison.